I will be free, even to the uttermost, as I please in words. Fitting words for writer Martha Kuwe Kumsa. Martha was put in the Addis Ababa prison for 10 years by the Ethiopian military regime because of her writing, her Oromo origin, and her political beliefs. Her husband had disappeared the year before when she was carrying their third child. For over 10 years, she had no news or contact with him. They were finally reunited in 1996. So they blocked my way, and one of them showed me the badge. There were uh, security people, place clothes men. And I froze in terror at that point. I, and because they were taking me away, I wouldn't know when I would come back. And they were saying 10 minutes, but I've never seen anybody who came back after they took them away. So I just froze in terror and I just, my, my tiny kids danced before my eyes. And I said, my kids, my kids, please. Ten minutes of questions stretched into ten years of physical and mental torture. Martha was put in prison without charge and lived in horrific conditions. While in prison, she was adopted by Penn Canada as honorary member. She continued to write and send out news stories written on matchbox covers and other ways. Finally, Martha was released in 1989 upon the intervention of Penn and Amnesty International and came to Canada in 1991 as a refugee resettled under the government's Women at Risk program. It was a difficult time for Martha. She had to get to know the children, now teenagers, that she had not even seen for 10 years. There were cultural adjustments and extreme financial difficulties to endure. Although trained and experienced, Martha couldn't find a job in her field. A friend brought her to Skills for Change. I didn't even know how to write a resume. She brought me to Skills for Change, and people at Skills for Change taught me how to go about looking for a job in terms of writing a resume, preparing for interviews, what to emphasize, what to not emphasize in the interviews. All these skills about employment search, uh, I was taught at Skills for Change. And computers, I've never seen computers before I I came to Skills for Change. I never saw them. You know, when I would have seen them, I was in prison. Skills for Change gave Martha an insight into the Canadian workplace and wider community. She finished the program and was encouraged to return to school full time. Because of Skills for Change, I went to social work. Because, not only because uh, they put me on the right path, but also it resonates with me from with the things within me, because I thought I would get my own healing by working with others, by healing, helping others heal. By 1996, she had received both a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Social Work from York University. In 1997, she received a Master of Social Work from U of T. All along, she balanced her studies with family while working as a teaching assistant. I've known Martha since 1997 when she was hired as a teaching assistant in the Women's Studies program at the University of Toronto. Martha was hired on the basis of her impressive academic record and her strong teaching skills. Martha is currently finishing her PhD at the University of Toronto and was recently hired by Wilfrid Laurier University in a tenure-track teaching position. Martha has published a number of learned articles as well as essays and poetry. She's presented papers at conferences in Toronto, the U.S., Germany, and Sweden, and participates in panel discussions on issues related to human rights and freedom of expression. I first heard about her experience of writing in exile when she spoke at an event sponsored by Penn Canada. As a journalist and a former political prisoner of conscience, Martha gave a powerful account of the human rights violations in her home country, but she made important connections to the Canadian context as well. These are powerful lessons for students and lessons that go well beyond the required course material. Martha is an active member of the Oromo Canadian Women's Organization, Canadian Journalists for Free Expression, Penn International, and Penn Canada. In 2001, she joined Reza Barhaney and Michael Ondaatje 
to speak to Penn Canada, The Power of Words. She is the founding member of Oromo Global Communities Network, actively volunteers for Amnesty International. She received the Hellman Hammett Award for free expression from Human Rights Watch in New York in 1996. Same year, received the Dr. Wilson Head Memorial Award for outstanding work in anti-racism, peace, and human rights from Atkinson College, York U. And I want to change things for the better. I, I, I just, I came here looking for justice. I came here looking for freedom. And I wanted people, as many as possible, to find their freedom, to find their justice. And I, I still want to go on with working with that.